What does Ferrari have to hide? During the Canadian Grand Prix, the team from Maranello have been more secretive than usual. Their activity over the weekend has been pointing to something bigger happening behind the scenes. Luckily for us, there are a few cracks in the armour that we can peek into. We'll be trying to unveil Ferrari's secrets in today's video, so keep watching. F1 expert Peter Windsor got a bit concerned when he heard Ferrari's team radio exchanges with Charles Leclerc during the Canadian Grand Prix. According to Windsor, those messages might indicate some problems lurking in the background. Ferrari had a pretty impressive performance in Montreal, which could be considered their best of the 2023 season so far. However, their chances of making it to the podium took a nosedive after a disastrous qualifying session in the rain. Leclerc found himself in the 11th position during qualifying due to a miscalculation with his tyres in Q2. On the other hand, his teammate Carlos Sainz received a three-place grid penalty for impeding Pierre Gasly from the Alpine team during Q1. However, both Leclerc and Sainz showcased impressive skills during the race and managed to make a strong comeback. They crossed the finish line in 4th and 5th place respectively, opting not to make a pit stop during the safety car period caused by George Russell's crash. But what really surprised former Williams and Ferrari team manager Peter Windsor was a radio message that caught his attention on lap 25. Leclerc's race engineer told him, We want a clean and fast stint. Sainz will not attack you. Windsor, sharing his thoughts on his YouTube channel following the race, believes that Ferrari's communication with Leclerc hints at an unusual relationship between the team and the driver. He said, There were, I don't know if I should read too much into this, some very odd radio messages to Charles, I thought. A lot of it was, don't worry, Carlos is not racing you, he's not going to challenge you, as if a guy of Charles' stature needs to be told that. But I guess if they said that to him twice, it must be a talking point in the debriefs in the garage at some point. And secondly, it was like, what we want from you now, Charles, because we've told Carlos not to race you, we want a nice, clean, fast stint. I mean, you're saying that to Charles Leclerc. Does the team think he's never going to drive as fast and as cleanly as he can? Or indeed, if he's going to make a mistake, he's not going to make a mistake now because they've told him to drive cleanly. It's a bit juvenile, I thought. I just couldn't believe that they were talking to him like that. But anyway, he did the job in the end and maybe that's what he needs. Maybe he has to be spoken to like a school teacher to the pupil. It seemed very odd to me, that whole radio interaction with him. Ferrari faced significant backlash following the qualifying session, but they received praise for their decision to keep Leclerc and Sainz out on the track during the safety car period. This strategy allowed both drivers to complete the race with just one pit stop while others had to make two. Interestingly, Leclerc's impressive long-run performance during Friday practice sessions closely matched that of the eventual race winner, Max Verstappen, to the extent that it raised concerns for Red Bull advisor Helmut Marko. However, Windsor believes that Ferrari will look back at the Canadian Grand Prix as a missed opportunity for success. He further elaborated on his thoughts, saying, Full marks today for their strategy. They did a really good job. They did a good job because they didn't come in at the first safety car when everyone else did and went from medium to hard. They stayed out there to get track position because they were ninth and 10th on the grid and they used that really, really well. And they ran those mediums right up to the point where all the guys on hards were saying, we've lost grip, we'd better come in again. And at that point, they came in as well. So they actually did really well with their strategy. They predicted that the medium tyre would last right up until half distance and both Charles and Carlos Sainz made the most of it. They finished fourth and fifth and good luck to them. That was a good performance from where they were on the grid, but a disappointing weekend in general because right up until qualifying, Charles Leclerc had been not far away from Max Verstappen. And I think that had he qualified where he should have qualified, he would have been second and he probably would have beaten Fernando Alonso. It would have been a really interesting race to see how the Ferrari compared with the Aston Martin, given how well the Ferraris went on the medium tyre. I think it would have been really, really close. Ferrari's string of secrets doesn't seem to end with whatever it is that is going on between Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz. Martin Brundle is known for his ability to secure exclusive interviews during his customary pre-race grid walks. But when he reached Ferrari's garage, the team made a concerted effort to prevent him from getting deeply involved in the action.
Brundle was in the midst of his usual race introductions and had engaging conversations with notable figures such as celebrity chef Gordon Ramsay and Ferrari CEO Piero Ferrari. Once he concluded his discussion with the head of Scuderia, he casually strolled over to Charles Leclerc's car, which happened to be elevated on jacks. As Brundle and his cameraman tried to catch a glimpse of the car, they found themselves obstructed by a circle of Ferrari mechanics who clearly intended on preventing Brundle from noticing any issues and reporting them on screen. Unfazed by the obstruction, Brundle remained determined and chose to get down on his hands and knees for a closer inspection. Displaying his usual professionalism, he proceeded to inform viewers about his observations regarding the ongoing work being carried out on the car. During the Sky Sports F1 broadcast, he went on air to say, The car's up on the stands, he said, during the Sky Sports F1 broadcast. There's sort of a ring of mechanics around, so we can't get too good a look at it. They're taking part of the underfloor off, the plank, as it's known. Even in the face of resistance from the Scuderia crew, Brundle maintained his composure and calmly said, It's okay, you don't need to do that. I don't know what we can learn from this. They want absolutely nobody to get any view of the work going on. In other developments, Ferrari team principal Fred Vasseur has disclosed that Charles Leclerc has acknowledged his mistake in criticising the team's strategy following a challenging qualifying session at the Canadian Grand Prix. Leclerc expressed his frustration with Ferrari, claiming that they made things difficult for him and seemed to consistently make unfavourable decisions after his unexpected elimination in Q2 due to the rain-affected conditions in Montreal. Leclerc's criticism arose from Ferrari's decision to disregard his preference for using dry tyres at the beginning of Q2, as the track was gradually drying up. However, by the time Ferrari finally called him in for slicks, heavy rain had resumed. Consequently, Leclerc was unable to advance into the top 10 shootout and experienced the embarrassment of being eliminated in the second segment of qualifying. Ferrari's team principal, Vasseur, mentioned that Leclerc expressed his regret for his public outburst and apologised during a team meeting. He explained to the media, We had a good discussion. Leclerc admitted, OK, I was wrong, I'm sorry. I'm always trying to protect my guys, the drivers, for the team. I can perfectly understand when they jump out of the car after a bad result and they're asked, were you happy with the strategy? For sure, he will say, no. You will never find drivers saying, I am screwed, but it was super. The most important thing is that sometimes it is better to talk with the team before. It was what we did. It was constructive and direct. That being said, Vasseur is optimistic about Ferrari's progress following the Canadian Grand Prix. Vasseur expressed his belief that the team is heading in the right direction. Both Leclerc and his teammate Carlos Sainz showcased promising speeds as they made impressive climbs from 10th and 11th positions on the starting grid to secure 4th and 5th places in Sunday's race. Vasseur said, The last stint we did with the same tyres as Alonso for almost the same number of laps and it was plus or minus one second difference between the cars after 30 laps. You can always say Verstappen was not flat out, but I don't think that his personality is like this. Compared to two or three races ago, we finished 10 seconds behind and it was almost the same gap as at the end of lap one. So why is Ferrari being so shady about their business? What do you reckon they're up to? Tell us your theories in the comment section down below. And, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching.